Hello friends, Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Let's take a moment to look at what does it mean to have a thankful heart, a heart full of gratitude towards God. While I was uh, preparing for this message, I came across a study on King David from 2 Samuel chapter 7. Now here, uh, David is in his palace and he has some rest between war. And at this time, during the brief calm period that God has blessed David with, David is thinking that here I am in palace and God's ark is out there in a tent. So he tells Nathan that he wants to build God's temple. Now Nathan on hearing this says that go ahead, do whatever you please, the God is with you. After David has given him a green signal to go and build the temple, on the very night God comes and talks to Nathan and gives, tells him that it is not David who is going to build a temple for me, but I am going to bless David in turn and going to establish his house and his kingdom will endure forever. So Nathan comes back and tells all this to David and we see a overwhelming grateful response from King David. Now when you look at this and you may ask, okay, so what is the big deal? God is blessing David and David is being grateful and thankful. So. Uh, what's the catch here? So if you just step back and see what really is happening here. So David has a desire, a tangible desire, right? In this world that he's living in that he wants to achieve or he, that's a desire of his heart for which God is saying no. So for the prayer request that David have, God is answering no. Now you may ask, okay, what about the second part of the blessing that God is blessing him? So if you read verse 12, it says, when your days are over and you rest with your ancestor, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, your own flesh and blood, and I will establish his kingdom. So the blessing that God is giving him in turn for his denied prayer request, David will not even be alive to see that. So in fact, scholars believe the time between King David and Jesus uh, is almost a thousand years. So this is similar to God uh, denying a material request that we might have in this world, yet he is promising us the eternal life. What is the nature of our heart? How do you respond to God's answer as no? Can we have the same overwhelming response to God, what King David is demonstrating here? During the study, the author said that David is able to do that or have such a grateful and thankful heart because his thankfulness is rooted in God's sovereignty. Let me read David's response. If you have time, you can read the second portion of the chapter. It is called David's Prayer. But for now, let's just read two of the verses, verses 18 and 19. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and he said, Who am I, sovereign Lord? And what is my family? that you have brought me this far. And as if this were not enough in your sight, sovereign Lord, you have also spoken about the future of the house of your servant. And this decree, sovereign Lord, is this for a mere human? So you can see David's response, who am I for a mere human? He understands that he is not deserving of God's grace. So his response, his overwhelming gratefulness is coming from God's sovereignty. So a um, truly thankful heart is focused on God, not on us or self. He is not looking at the request that has been denied to him, yet the blessing that God is promising him in future. Um, truly thankful heart is submissive to God's purposes. Right? So he is not grumbling or angry here and he is just surrendering to God's will. And a truly thankful heart can only be result of overwhelmed by God's sovereign grace. Now, God's grace if, is his unmerited favor to us. And what I mean by unmerited favor is like whatever we do, whatever we do, let me repeat that, right? We can never make ourselves worthy to receive God's grace. Whatever we do, 
by our works it's impossible we cannot do that yet god freely gives us salvation it's a gift from god now if you um, read ephesians chapter 2 this is what it says uh, in verse 8 for it is by grace that you have been saved through faith and it is not from yourself it is this is the gift of god not by works so no one can boast so what paul is saying here is the same thing what david is demonstrating there in his gratitude right so the gift of god what god has done for us we don't deserve on our own we all are born sinners and we deserve to die but god in his eternal mercy is graceful to us and is giving us salvation for free of cost we all know this but let's just take a moment and try to comprehend let's pray to god that god can make us understand this in its entirety because if we can understand this fully and dwell on it we we are compelled to have a thankful heart because what the scripture is saying is god in his eternal mercy is blessing us is giving us eternal life for which we are not deserving at all thank you